Okay, well let's see if I can impart some wisdom. Maybe. I don't know. Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the ways that I get through so many books in a week because I tend to average about three books a week and I know that's a lot for a lot of people. A lot of people, I don't know, some people feel like they should be reading more and I really don't think that's the case because I love to read and I can get through three books but I don't think, I never think that I have to get through three books. For me it's always just about reading things that I love and getting through it. So whether you read three books a week or three books a month or three books a year it really doesn't matter as long as you're reading and you're enjoying what you're doing that's the most important thing. But if you are looking for some things that might help you read a little bit more than you normally do. These are my tips. I don't think any of them are new or original. There's probably a lot of people who've talked about these before, but these are the ones that work for me personally. And I think that's the key word. You have to find what works for you. So there may be a little bit of trial and error involved. And the most obvious one I think is always have a book with you. I tend to be a bit of a hermit at my place. So I have all of my books at my disposal whenever I want it, but I have been getting really good at taking books with me. When I go on the bus or on the train. I also have a whole lot of ebooks sitting on my phone and that means even if I don't take a physical book with me and I want to read something while I'm traveling I've got something on my phone that I can read. So the ones on my phone are just think they're backup books basically they're books that I might enjoy reading at some point so I've got them there and if I feel like reading an ebook I can pick them up. An addendum to that point if you're at home and you're reading Keep the book that you want to read somewhere visible. So don't just hide it on a shelf because chances are you're not going to pick it up. Leave it on your bedside table, leave it next to your favorite chair or whatever. So that remind, it's a physical reminder for you to actually pick it up and read, read it. Because if you can't see it, chances are you're going to ignore it. Another really good tip if you're someone who struggles to pick up books and read them is try and find out what you really like to read. Because if you've got books that you're really in, interested in reading, you're more likely to pick them up than if you've just got a book sitting around. So for me personally if I've got a historical fiction book sitting there chances are I'm not going to read it because that's not my genre. I do I will read them but if I've got other things that I want to read first I'm going to pick those up. It's just the way that it is. Do, re do a little bit of research you know find out what pe your friends are reading, find out what other people recommend to you and then you can sort of build up a bank and then you've got a little bit more choice because choice is really important. You want to be able to you know pick and choose from things because depending on your day you might be in the mood for one particular thing another day you might be in the mood for something completely different and you know changing it up and reading different things is not going to to cause problems but you need to just know what you like to read it's going to help you in the long run make time to read set aside time during the day to do it whether it's five minutes ten minutes an hour whatever you're going to do have a routine I read from about eight o'clock every night I would prefer to read rather than watch TV so that's my preference. There are some nights where I don't do that I'll sit down and watch a movie or watch TV or whatever but for the most part from about eight o'clock onwards that's my reading time. I have a cup of tea, I sit on the couch, I read, I might sit on my reading chair in my room, I get cozy, I get snuggly and that's it because like I said before hermit. But if you're someone who struggles to find time or you have kids or whatever you know even five or ten minutes before bed replace the time that you would be spending on your phone before you go to bed with a book because you're not supposed to be looking at your phones before you go to bed that blue light's not good for you. Just make time. It doesn't matter whether it's every day or whether it's every other day. Find what works for you and stick to it. You know we are creatures of habit. We like routine. Routine helps us get through what we need to get through on a daily basis so use it. Use that natural instinct. The next tip is something that I only do occasionally. Some people find that reading multiple books at the same time will help them. My thing for that would be make sure you're reading different formats so a physical book and an ebook. That's usually the extent of what I can do. I can normally have two books on the go if I need to. I prefer not to. I prefer to read a book straight through. That's just my preference but if you are someone who wants to have multiple books try and have different formats so physical book, ebook, maybe an audiobook and then that way you don't get confused by the formats or pick different genres so that you're not confusing places and characters and events because that can be a big thing particularly if you're reading fantasy books or sci-fi books or things like that. I'm going to put an addendum on that. I actually find ebooks really quick to read. I find them physically faster to read than I do paperbacks. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's I track words quicker on a screen or whatnot but I find them quicker to read and as you flip them through the screen I don't know. 
Let me know in the comments, have you, do you read ebooks? Do you find that as well? I just find them a lot faster. I you can usually get through them maybe an hour quicker or something like that. I don't know, it's very strange. I don't personally use them, but audiobooks can also be another good way to get through books, particularly if you don't have time to sit down and physically read. You can put it on in the background, you can walk around the house, you can do your chores, you can do whatever you need to do. The good thing about audiobooks, most of them you can speed up the audio as well, so if the narrator, narrator is quite slow, you can actually speed up the audio so that you get through it in half the time, which is interestingly enough how I watch YouTube videos because I like watching a lot of things. So you can do the same thing with audiobooks. The last one, and I'm gonna say this is the most important one. Do not put pressure on yourself. I'm guilty of doing this, but don't put pressure on yourself to read. Get your routines in place, find the books that you love and make time to read. But if it's not happening, don't push yourself, don't force yourself to do it because ultimately you're gonna get frustrated. And if you're frustrated, you're not gonna enjoy the book, you're gonna hate reading and you're gonna put it down and you're never gonna pick up the book again. Simple as that. Make sure you're in the right headspace, enjoy your books, enjoy your reading, and if it becomes like too much of a work or a thing you have to do, put it aside and come back to it at a later date. Like make a time to do that so you do come back to it and you don't just leave it there. But take that pressure off yourself because we all live busy lives, we are human beings, we have things that we need to get done. Reading should be fun and enjoyable and relaxing and you don't want to make it any worse than that. Those are my tips for reading books or trying to read more books. I don't know, how do you want to say it? Tips for reading more books. Reading is enjoyable and I love it. Not everyone does and that's fine. But for those of you who, who do, you want to get yourself into a good space and you want to enjoy what you're reading because that's what it's there for. It is a form of entertainment. Unless you're reading information books and then it's a form of information. Don't mind me. A little bit delirious. I hope this video has been useful to you. Let me know in the comments, do you have other tips for how to read more books or how to get more out of your reading time? Let me know that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see future videos from my channel. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.